Welcome back to the Spoonie and Caregiver Life Podcast with me, your host, Jordan Banderas. And before we get started, don't forget to subscribe so you don't miss any episodes of the podcast. And let's go ahead and get into today's episode, shall we? Now, on today's episode, I wanted to talk about the imposter syndrome with Spoonies. Now, the imposter syndrome is actually a pattern in which an individual doubts their skills, talents, or accomplishments, and has a persistent internalized fear of being exposed exposed as a fraud. So you might think that this is for somebody that is successful or anything like that. But one of the things that I have realized and I have seen with a lot of Spoonies is that we have the imposter syndrome as well. This happened to me when I got my diagnosis. When I got my diagnosis, obviously everybody knows by now that I have the, everybody that listens to the podcast at least, uh, knows that I have PTSD. But when I got my diagnosis, I was like, that can't be. That can happen because I didn't go to war, right? I was like, I didn't go to war. And because of everything that, that I have seen from PTSD, it kind of makes sense because of the flashbacks that I was having and, and, and the emotional issues that I was having. I was like, it makes sense. But I see people on TV like veterans that that have gone to war and then they come back and have all this PTSD, which is more severe than the one that I have or the situation that I have. And, and they become recluse, they don't talk to anybody, they, 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 they become, like, they lose themselves pretty much. And I was like, but I'm not like that. I don't have that, so how can I have PTSD? And one of the things that I had to understand is that on any condition or any illness that you, that, that you might encounter, there's going to be levels. There's going to be levels, just like levels of pain. Have you seen that those those charts in the hospitals when you go to like the ER and there's a level of pain where it goes from like a happy face to like a crying face, which is 10 from zero to 10. It's the same. It's the same thing with this. And because of the, of this situation, I felt like I was an imposter by saying that I have PTSD. And and, and 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 something that happened to me is that I had to understand that there are levels. There's like almost like a like in this case a pain chart. There's gonna be an any condition a chart. Like you 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 might you might have like mild symptoms, or you might have severe symptoms. In my case, I had mild symptoms. It wasn't as severe. Yeah, there was aggression. There was all anger and all of that. So I would say like. I was like at a four. I wasn't at a ten like other like people that you see on TV, like some veterans and and other people that have that have PTSD or or complex PTSD, where they they're literally suffering. And because I saw people suffering from PTSD, and I was I felt at least like I wasn't suffering a lot. I was like, I must be a fraud. I, I felt like I was a fraud. I felt like I, I, the doctor gave me the wrong diagnosis and 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 I, and I didn't want to say that I had it because people will say like, oh, you don't you don't seem like or pretty much like what anybody says when when you have a chronic illness or an invisible illness, you don't seem like you have that. So I didn't want to be labeled as a fraud or that I was I was trying to gain attention by saying that I have PTSD which is not the case. That's not the case. I want to bring awareness. That's pretty much what I want to do. And this is extremely important to understand because when we understand that we we there are there are literally levels on the condition like there there's there's pretty much like levels of symptoms like you might have fibromyalgia. This is one of the things that I see with my wife. She has fibromyalgia. I talk about it a lot. One of the things that happens is that sometimes her symptoms are not as bad. We know other people that have fibromyalgia. 
we we this other person that we know has severe symptoms sometimes where she cannot go out she cannot even walk and and my wife when she has uh, mild symptoms what happens is that she she used to say this to herself she she used to say like oh I, I shouldn't be saying that I'm sick because this other person has worse symptoms than me and that's when I came up with it with this conclusion that is like okay there is a an imposter syndrome problem within spoonies just because we don't have um, severe symptoms or or symptoms doesn't show as much that doesn't mean that we don't have the condition and yes sometimes the doctor might misdiagnose you because doctors don't know everything and i will say that until the day that i die so doctors don't, don't know everything so they might misdiagnose you or or they might give you the right diagnosis but you don't feel like it is the right diagnosis because you see other people suffering and you're not suffering a lot so this this, this is this is why we why i wanted to talk about it because just because your symptoms are mild compared to somebody else that you know that doesn't mean that 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 you don't have the condition it just means that probably your pain is not as severe or that somehow you're able to manage the pain better than the other person because everybody manages their pain and their suffering differently. So you're not being an imposter at all. You're, you're not, you're not uh, taking somebody else's spot. And, and I say this because one, of the, one thing that happened recently with my wife is, is in regards to her medicine. She would say like, oh, I shouldn't have this medicine or I shouldn't get approved for, for this medicine because somebody else might need it. So she felt like she was taking the spot of somebody else in regards to taking that medicine or being approved for that medicine. But here's the problem, or not the problem, but here's what happened. She got the medicine and it helped her with her condition. So she was like, oh, okay, so it does help me. And I had to tell her like, listen, just because you feel a certain way that you, that, that you, do you might not need this medication right now until you take it and you see that it helps, that doesn't mean that you have to give your spot to somebody else because you're also suffering. Everybody suffers in, a, in, in different, in different ways. And, and that's how, that's what I was able to tell her and, and, and she was able to understand, but it's hard when you see other people suffering more than, than, than you when you guys have the same condition. So don't feel like you're the imposter because you're not. And also try to take care of yourself as well because just because you're not suffering as much as the other person that you know that has the same condition, that doesn't mean that you need to stop taking care of yourself as much as you need to because I've seen it as well. So that's why I'm saying it. And if you're a caregiver, in order for you to help your spoonie, you have to let to talk to them about about cer certain things like this. Like if you it, and you have to be very open too. You have to ask the right the right questions. Like, do you actually want to go to the to through this treatment? And if your spoonie says no, then ask how come. You need to be literally like almost like not pushing them, but you have to be there for them and 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 realize what they're thinking. Because if your Spoonie says like, I don't wanna go to this particular um, trial of medicine or whatever, because let's say they, they're able to tell you, oh, I feel like, like I'm not as bad, let them know. It doesn't matter if you're as bad as this other person or not, it's just that you need to take that medicine to see if it helps. Because if it helps you with mild symptoms, maybe the other person that has the, the, the severe symptoms might, might be benefit to. Yeah, they might not qualify for it right now because maybe they're seeing the different doctor or anything, but they, they might be able to get that, that particular medicine later on. And because it helped you with your mild symptoms, they might be like, oh, maybe it might help, you, help me a little bit. So that's how I, what, what I say to my Spoonie a lot of times, 
that you're not an imposter. I had to tell that to myself as well. Like, I'm not an imposter. I have mild symptoms. But just because I have mild symptoms, that doesn't mean that I don't have the condition or I don't have the the illness. So we, in this in this case, we have to be very understanding that not everybody is going to suffer the same way, which for some reason, I don't understand why doctors and and science sometimes makes it look like like everybody's going to suffer the same way if you had the same condition, which is not. So if this happens to you where you feel like you're taking the spot of somebody else in regards to the illness or you feel like you're going to be uh, considered a fraud because you don't have severe symptoms, let us know how you deal with it. I want to hear from you. That way we can learn from each other. And, and that's pretty much what I have for you today. I hope you guys are enjoying the episodes. I hope you guys are liking it. Don't forget to share, like, subscribe. And also don't forget to follow us on TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, and and YouTube. And don't forget to share the posts. Don't forget to invite people on the on the community if you're already a member of the community. If not, don't forget to join. But also, if you want to share your story anonymously, you can share send it to me at the Spoonian Caregiver at Gmail the Spoonian Caregiver Life at gmail.com. Or you can post it on the community so you can get the support that you might need. And and thank you for everything. Thank you for uh, helping me expand this and, and for the new listeners and the new sub- subscribers. And I'll leave you like always, always take care of yourself and have a great day.